Friday, October 1st, uh, I'm climbing Penobscot Mountain. I was gonna go from the Jordan Pond uh, side of the mountain. That is a parking lot. It's really crowded. I couldn't find parking. It's just like it was in July. So I am at uh, what's called the Brown Mountain uh, parking area where I climb Cedar Swamp Mountain. I'm gonna walk to the amphitheater trail take that up and connect with the trail that goes up the other side of Penobscot. And then I may climb Sargent, I'm not sure. But that's what I'm doing. I'll post a map of it and um, here we go. So I'll go into a little more detail later, but if you find the Brown Mountain Gatehouse, um, we're gonna be going around the carriage roads up here to this bridge, the amphitheater trail, and that's going to take us up to uh, the trail, the South Ridge Trail that we need to get up to uh, Penobscot Mountain. So I thought I'd try to explain my route. I didn't come from uh, Jordan Pond. I came from all the way over here in Northwest Harbor, this gate, and I followed the carriage roads until I got to the amphitheater trail, and I took the amphitheater trail uh, up to... South Ridge and took the South Ridge to Sergeant Mountain, came back and tagged Penobscot. Thank you, Lily. And then I came back the way um, the way I'd come. So that was my kind of unusual route for this hike. From the Brown Mountain Gate, just follow uh, signs that say amphitheater. Anything that says amphitheater, you just follow that direction. And uh, that's gonna take us to the bridge. From the Brown Mountain Gate, it is almost exactly 30 minutes to the bridge, the amphitheater bridge. We're gonna follow the amphitheater trail north. So we're gonna go under the bridge. I was pretty disappointed this morning when I couldn't go the route I wanted to, but I think this might be better. I really enjoy this trail. It's it's kind of steep and rocky, but it's right next to this stream coming down the mountain. So it's just beautiful. And I haven't met anybody and the air is cool. So it's a wonderful day for a hike up here. So having come off the amphitheater trail, I'm now on the South Ridge Trail. Uh, there's a little intersection with a sign. It's pretty clearly marked. I didn't take a video because there were some tourists uh, trying to figure out what they were gonna do, but South Ridge Trail, onward to Penobscot. Quite a view here. It's a lovely day, nice uh, cool breeze. I think that mountain over there is where I'm headed. I think that's Penobscot. A few trees turning, but still pretty green up here. So I'm on the South Ridge Trail looking across to that peak and I can see the sign for the summit and some people. So I came to an intersection very clearly marked that said Sargent Mountain or Penobscot Mountain. So I'm going up to Pen uh, Sargent first. I'm doing Sargent Mountain now. I'm gonna come back here and then I might hop over and tag Penobscot. So that's the plan, just following the South Ridge Trail north to Sergeant Mountain. This is Sergeant Mountain and we're facing west. This is interesting to me because I've climbed all of those peaks. If you see this little nubble down there, I believe that's uh, Ball Peak. And that little mountain over there is Norumbega. And behind that there's Beach and I think the big peak is, is Bernard and Mansell. So kind of interesting to see from up here. 
It looks stormy. I'm hoping that holds off. Um, it's a nice cold wind right now. But it's just lovely up here, as you can see from all of the ocean and mountains. It's just lovely. Really great to be up here. Well, it's wildly beautiful up here. Cold wind, though. I put on a sweater. I have a thin wool sweater. It smells like bananas because I had bananas in my bag. Some old sad bananas, so that's okay. Northeast Harbor is down there. You can see so far today. It's, it's just wonderful. I had to turn Siri off on my phone because the wind kept setting off Siri. So, Siri wanted to talk to the wind. I wonder if Siri knows what the wind is saying. So here we are at the summit of Sargent and it's, uh, it's beautiful up here. I think that the number of Cadillac, I would say this view is as interesting, if not more so, as far as geography goes. It's sort of like Cadillac without the parking lot. As you can see, Northeast Harbor. If you're facing south, and you can see Bar Harbor if you're facing northeast. And you can see pretty far inland, so. Just lovely up here. I'm going to try to get some more shots. Just a completely different experience than the day I had climbing Champlain last week when I get to the top and there was just crowds of people. And I get up here and there's nobody. There's just me. I wonder where everyone is. So just a great day to be up here. Um, and some See, the colors are starting to come onto the trees. Little by little, there are reds, but uh, still pretty green. I like looking at the ocean from here because you can see, like, it just goes forever once you're out there. I don't think I would like to be out in the ocean. It's kind of a weird Mad Max quality to walking through this environment where there aren't a lot of trees or plants or animals or people. It's just like it's not a very lively landscape. So here we are, a well-marked uh, crossroads on the Sargent Southridge Trail. 0.7 miles to Sargent Mountain. I went up and tagged that mountain. Now I'm coming back down the Sargent Southridge Trail. I'm going to go over to the Penobscot Mountain Trail. I'm going to tag Penobscot Mountain. And then uh, I'm going to come back here and go back down the Sargent Southridge Trail. That was a lot to say. Pretty simple. Penobscot Mountain Trail descends into a little valley and there's this pond, Sargent Mountain Pond. You can see how clear it is. You can see the whole sky, the clouds in the pond. The Penobscot Mountain Trail is uh, steep in places and there are puddles. So, it's a little different. I think we're going to descend into this, uh, through this kind of crevice into a little valley, and then we're going to go up a steep uh, face. Walking among the rocks, we come to a crossroads. Sergeant Mountain uh, Pond and Trail, where we came from. Keep going up Penobscot Mountain Trail. And then there's a sign that says to the north shore of Jordan Pond, the Deerbrook Trail. So we're not going to take that, but we could if we wanted to go to Jordan Pond. Um, but we're going to continue up this uh, Penobscot Mountain Trail. A uh, short scramble up from Sargent Pond, and here we are on the top of Penobscot Mountain. That's Sargent Mountain that we just climbed over there. Dark though and cold, and the wind is starting.
starting to pick up and a few little drizzles so I'm not gonna linger up here because the sky looks a little mad looks a little angry definitely uh, some rain you can see it in the distance and uh, the wind is heading tracking this direction so those are storm clouds and I'm gonna try to book it back to the uh, South Ridge Trail head back to the car so I probably want to take a lot of video on the way back since that's all territory we've already covered steep scramble up from the Penobscot Trail. We're back on the Sergeant South Ridge Trail. So right to my left is the trail that goes to the amphitheater, the amphitheater trail. Um, it's not super well marked. So if you've just come down, this is how I came down from the South Ridge Trail. That is the amphitheater trail. Now if you turn to the right, you'll see a muddy little path here and through the trees there's a sign down there which says birch spring and hadlock pond and uh cedar swamp mountain so if you walk to that sign you've gone too far if you want to catch the amphitheater trail you're just going to want to walk up here a few steps and turn right time for another leg minute i was thinking about darkness because it could get dark. I brought a flashlight even because I didn't know how long I was going to be out here. I think I'll make it back to the car before it gets dark, but the days are getting shorter. I got a light box because doctor said he thought I had seasonal affective disorder. I don't know if that's true, but it seems to help, so I use it. But it's getting darker and darker, but I don't think it's a problem. People are afraid of the dark, but... It's really just the same as if there's light. And I think the whole light-dark thing is just foolish. I mean, blind people don't worry about it. So what are you all afraid of? Afraid of the dark? I wouldn't worry about it. This has been another leg minute. I thought this tree was really interesting because it's, it's dead. It looks like a dead tree. You can see right through it. And then if you look way, way up, Way, way up, way, way, way up the tree. It's still alive at the top. There's, uh, there's the whole stock up there. So that's pretty interesting. It's a survivor. Here we are back at the bridge, having come down the amphitheater trail. Gonna follow the carriage roads uh, back to the car. It's been a very pleasant walk. Uh, I've just been listening to music and enjoying this. I hardly meet anybody every once in a while. There might be a single bicyclist, but this has been a nice quiet walk in the woods. It's really a good way to end a, end a hike. It's so back at the car having completed Sargent Mountain and Penobscot Mountain. Um, I like this route. I think it's totally doable if you don't mind the one hour of uh, walking the the carriage roads, you know, half hour in, half hour back. So the whole thing took me about five hours. Really reasonable. And it was easy to find the path um, up the South Ridge to Sargent, and then it's just a little hop over to Penobscot. I would like to do um, Penobscot um, from Jordan Pond from that side and do that loop someday but uh it was a good uh it was a good save considering I had to change my plans so really glad I did it three mountains left we've got Cadillac and Door and uh Pematic. that's it and then we'll be done you're really not gonna help are you you're not gonna help me edit this video you want to help but you don't know how to help you're chewing this pencil? <laughs>